a very good afternoon class 11th moving on to the chapter of thermodynamics we've already done the introduction part and we would now be moving on to the part 2 of the thermodynamics chapter you are welcome to the channel by Seema Makijani bless you loads do well in life keep subscribing and liking and loving chemistry now we have already defined what is a system now we have a term called as what do you mean by state of a system that is what is the situation in which your system is existing that is it is the condition of existence of the system and you need to define those conditions now these conditions are defined by the measurable properties which could be volume temperature pressure etc these measurable properties which are also known as state functions because they define the state or state variables because they vary if the state changes these values do change whenever the state change and these state variables as I just said are also defined as the measurable properties used to define the state of the system and these properties these do not depend on how the state is achieved changed or achieved that is how did you achieve that change is not important so your state variables are defined as the measurable properties which could be temperature pressure volume etc density which are used to define your state of a system any state of the system the system that you are talking about needs to be defined and for that you require the properties which are known as state variables is that fine moving on further now if at all you want to change the state of a system then you will have to do something with the energy which means you can transfer the energy from the system or to the system and this energy transfer has two modes these two modes are either by using heat or by doing some work on the system or by the system the work could be done by the system that is your gas or you could do some work on the system so these are the two parameters which we will be doing now that how can you change the energy in the system q is the term used for heat and w we use for work now there is a sign convention which is followed in thermodynamics this sign convention is specifically for heat and work done so when we talk about heat that is your q value this value is positive if it is absorbed if your system is absorbing heat we take the value to be positive and if the system is giving out heat that is releasing heat then the value of q is taken to be negative so if i say your system has lost 100 kilojoules so you would say the heat is minus 100 kilojoules fine moving on to the work parameter the sign convention for work i will change the color now for work which is represented as w again you have a sign convention now for work the sign convention again is positive this positive is when the work is done on the system while the sign convention used is negative when the work is done by the system now if the work is done by the system that means there has to be decrease in energy so that is why we use it as a negative terminology this sign convention is crucial for thermodynamics you will use work is done on the system that means it is getting something positive work is done by the system means it is using itself then it is a negative value fine now this work done in thermodynamics is the pressure and volume work done and this expression which we use for thermodynamics in chemistry is work done is given by minus p delta v where p is the pressure and delta v refers to the change in volume now if you want the work value to be positive now how can you get this value to be positive definitely you understand that your 
डेल्टा वी देर फोर शुड बी नेगेटिव इसको पॉजिटिव करना है अगर ये नेगेटिव होगा देन ओनली नेगेटिव नेगेटिव कैन बी पॉजिटिव बिकॉज प्रेशर कैन नेवर बी नेगेटिव प्रेशर मिनिमम वैल्यू कुड बी जीरो दैट इज वैक्यूम सो प्रेशर कैन नेगेवर बी नेगेटिव प्लीज माइंड यू प्रेशर यू विल नेवर हैव इट एज नेगेटिव सो डेल्टा वी इज नेगेटिव ना वॉट डू आई मीन वेन आई से डेल्टा वी इज नेगेटिव दैट इज योर फाइनल वॉल्यूम इज ऑलवेज इन दैट केस वॉट विल यू बी दी फाइनल वैल्यू वुड ऑलवेज बी लेस दैन द इनिशियल वॉल्यूम सो दैट वेन यू हैव फाइनल वॉल्यूम माइनस इनिशियल वॉल्यूम दिस कम्स आउट टू बी नेगेटिव ना वॉट डिज दैस मीन देर इज कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एज आई जस्ट सेड फॉर थर्मोडाइनमिक्स योर सिस्टम इज नथिंग बट अ गैस इन अ कंटेनर फिटेड विद अ पिस्टन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट द वॉल्यूम टू बी चेंज इन वॉल्यूम टू बी नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स दिस इज गोइंग टू मूव डाउन दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सो दैट द फाइनल वॉल्यूम इज लेस दैन इनिशियल वॉल्यूम सो दैट द डेल्टा वी इज द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम कम्स आउट टू बी नेगेटिव सो इन दैट केस द वर्क डन इज पॉजिटिव सो फॉर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन योर वर्क डन इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव बट वेन यू वॉन्ट द वर्क डन टू बी नेगेटिव W is equal to minus p delta v. Now, if you want the work done to be negative, that means delta v will be in that case positive value because p is always positive; it can never be negative. Now, if delta v is a positive value, which means v final minus v initial is positive, which also means v final should be greater than v initial. Now, what am I trying to say? You have a container which has got the gas and it has a piston. which is free and frictionless and if your final volume is greater if your final volume is greater means this piston is moving up and your volume is increasing now if the piston moves up only then the final volume will be more which is the case whenever there is expansion so whenever you have expansion of your gas or the system if it is a gas then in that case the work done is taken to be negative and as we just did when you have work done to be positive positive means it is done on the system and negative is done by the system so when it is a negative value the work is done by the system that is you have got the contraction taking place and it is expansion when it is the value is negative so a negative system clearly shows that the work is done by the system because it is expanding so expansion is work done by the system while whenever there is contraction some pressure is exerted from outside that means your work done in this case is on the system that is why w in this case would be a positive value while when it is done by the system w would be a negative value is that fine coming to the next important parameter in thermodynamics is internal energy of the system this is represented as a capital u now this is nothing but your total energy content of the system now if you have a system which is a gas then what am i talking about when i say it is the total energy content you would have the molecules of the gas so between the molecules you would have rotation of molecules so you have a rotational energy there would be mobility of molecules so you have kinetic energy of molecules they would possess some energy into them because of their nucleus and electronic energy so they have a potential energy there might be some molecules vibrating so you have a vibrational energy they are mobile so you have translational energy so these are all the sum of these energies is the total energy content of the system now you very well know you are in no capacity to find out the rotational vibrational transitional energies of the molecules these all energies are valid for molecules of the gas which is your system now you are in no capacity to find these values therefore you can never find absolute value of u because you do not know how to find all these values but you are in a position to find the change in internal energy now whenever there would be a change in the content of energy of the system then there would always be a temperature change 
means there could be a decrease in temperature cooling or there could be an increase in temperature whatever the case may be delta u has happened that means there has been a change in internal energy which means only if there is a temperature change can you say that internal energy has changed now the how can you actually cause internal energy change now this internal energy change can be either by heating or it could be by work done or it could also be by both the ways together so your internal energy change is caused by heat work done or both so to take both of them into account what we give the expression for internal energy change is that your internal energy change is given by the heat plus work done this also is the expression for the first law of thermodynamics clear so the statement that we use for the first law of thermodynamics is that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can definitely be transferred from one form to another if you are asked the mathematical expression for the first law of thermodynamics it is delta u is the sum of that is the cause of a change in internal energy is due to heat change and the work done in case of the system so your internal energy change is a value which can be found while the absolute value can never be found now writing the expression for the first law of thermodynamics delta u is equal to q plus w is the way to write the mathematical expression for the first law i can further write it as delta u is equal to q minus p delta v which i have already told you that the work done is given by p delta v for thermodynamics it's the pressure volume work is that fine so this is the expression that we use for first law of thermodynamics now if you are asked to give the expression for delta u for an isochoric process now what is an isochoric process there is no change in volume that is delta v is equal to 0 so do you understand this changes into delta u is equal to q minus p into 0 so this value is 0 so your delta u is equal to q at constant volume this subscript v refers to constant volume and this is also the definition of internal energy change where we define it as the internal energy change is defined as the heat q absorbed or evolved at constant volume fine and the instrument that we use to do that is called as the bomb calorimeter this is a device where the volume does not change that is this device allows delta v to remain zero is a special calorimeter constructed so that all heat measurements are done at constant volume now the second way is to give you the internal energy change expression for an adiabatic process now what is an adiabatic process in the adiabatic process there is no heat absorbed or evolved that is q becomes equal to 0 now if q is equal to 0 delta u is equal to 0 minus p delta v so you can also write it as delta u is equal to minus p delta v which is equal to w so internal energy is nothing but work done in case of a adiabatic process and we call it internal energy can be defined as the work adiabatic as the definition fine moving on to the tail end the third expression of delta u is for a process where you have 200 kJ of heat is lost by the system that means q is equal to a negative value and 140 kJ work is done on the system which means the work done is a positive value please do not forget the sign convention that is to be used hence for this your delta u in this case would be your minus 200 and plus 140 please mind you both the units are in kilojoule so you do not need to change it so your answer comes out to be minus 60 kilojoules is the value of internal energy change because the heat was lost you put a negative sign the work was done on the system so you put a positive value with this i close my second class of thermodynamics 
hope you are understanding the concept of thermodynamics we have done the first law of thermodynamics beginning from the system and the state variables followed by internal energy change and finally the expressions for the first law of thermodynamics bless you kids please stay connected keep liking the videos and sharing and subscribing the channel do well bye